Okay, my scary good start, you mentioned them off the bat, uh, a, a team that's still undefeated, one of two right now, is the Vegas Golden Knights. Um, they're 6 0 and 0 it seems like everything is going right for this team, and there are no signs of a Stanley Cup hangover, which is often the case. You know, you often see a team who wins the Cup kind of start slow and a bit shaky out of the gate. Maybe complacency creeps into the mindset for a lot of players, or or they just can't afford to keep every player. Or you know, short off season, short off season. There's a number of reasons, right? Like, but so usually that plays a factor. That's not the case for the Vegas Golden Knights. They have come out of the gate scoring at will and and getting great goaltending as well. So right now they have five guys who are over or at a point per game, which is insane. Chandler Stevenson, who you mentioned, had a really great week in fantasy a couple weeks ago. Uh, Jack Eichel, Eric, uh, uh, William Carlson, almost said Eric Carlson, Shea Theodore, and Mark Stone. All of those guys are performing. Those are their big guys. And then between the pipes. You know, this is a team who really has figured it out. They don't need an absolute number one goalie who's going to play, you know, 70 games and win them all for you. They have a really, really good tandem now of Aiden Hill and Logan Thompson, both of whom are undefeated, both of whom are positive in my favorite stat, goal saved above expected, and both of whom have really good uh, service level numbers as well. So. They just have everything figured out right now, and to me, that should be scary for the rest of the league, especially in the Western Conference. Yeah. Um, I f- first off, you don't have to mention Chandler Stevenson's fantasy week to me because I have him on my team. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I picked him up in the 11th round, so that was a steal for me so far. He is leading the team in points, which is excellent. There's only one guy on this team that doesn't have a point, and it's William Carrier, who adds a whole different element to the game so it doesn't even matter like uh it is a scary start it's scary to think that i think we put edmonton ahead of them in our preseason rankings and edmonton is in the category of scary bad starts mm-hmm. and vegas looks like they haven't even they're just continuing from last year it's just one fluid motion for them the depth is amazing and um yeah yeah the preseason it looked like this was going to be the case and i mean here it is. Mm-hmm. The one thing I will say, there is a bit of a problem, you know, six games into the season. So obviously numbers aren't entirely reliable yet. The sample size is just too small. But the one problem I do see with this team is that they're giving up a ton of chances. Right now, they're 29th in the league in terms of expected goals against. They've just been getting some pretty good goaltending. So yeah. they're giving up a ton of chances, but their goalies have been coming through. I don't know how long that lasts. You know, I like the tandem, but it's it's something to keep an eye on at least. But so they, far, it's been pretty good. They've allowed the most high danger uh, scoring chances against. Yeah. Or shots well, against, rather. There you go. And I guess that does make sense, too, because goal saved above expected is a counting stat. So the more dangerous opportunities you're able to stop, the higher that stat is going to be, which just intuitively makes sense. But yeah, that's something to to keep an eye on as the season goes on, because I doubt that they're going to be that bad defensively. I feel like they're just, they're, they'll they're probably stop scoring a little bit and start playing tighter defensively as the season goes on. Right now, I think they're third in total goals in the, in, in the league right now. Um, so I'm sure that will... You know, they'll both kind of meet in the middle somewhere and be, I would guess, top third of the league, you know, top top 10 to 12 or so. Um, that's just a, a rough projection right now. But yeah, so I'm sure it'll come together. But another thing, just final point on, on Vegas is hot start. Even their special teams are clicking right now. Both their power play and their penalty kill are ranked ninth in the league, which if you can stay within that zone in that top third of the league really in most categories, you have a really great shot at not only making the playoffs, but doing some damage as well. So being that senior, both, both their power play and penalty kill being ninth right now, I think is a good sign as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to you for your just playing scary start, whether, you know, just a bad, bad and, and scary, bad start. Yeah. I went with one that, uh, it was personal for me. I wanted to prove a point. I know it's only four games in for them, uh, but you guys were pretty high on them in the preseason rankings, and I was pretty low. I ranked them seventh, and uh, I think we landed at fifth for them or something like that. Anyways, 
I want to talk about the Washington Capitals, mm. who are, started out the season at one, two, and one. That's not terrible. It's four games in, I know, but what I've seen has not looked good. Their biggest problem so far is that they've scored five goals in those four games. That's 1.25 goals per game last in the league. I mentioned in the preseason rankings that one thing that scared me is that they struggled to score last year. And I attributed it to an aging core. There was some talk about injuries and stuff like that. But so far, they've continued. They don't have a power play goal in those four games. Uh, their penalty kill has been relatively weak. I don't have it written down, but I think it's like 25th in the league. Um, their leading scorer currently is John Carlson, that has three points tied with five foot eight, 147 pound, 25 year old rookie Matthew Phillips. Respect the hell out of what he's done so far this season, taking a spot from Anthony Mantha, who's a monster. Mm-hmm. And really, he's been the only bright spot so far for this team. Uh, Backstrom and Oshi don't have a point. Kuzi has one. Uh, Wilson has one. Somehow, Ovi hasn't found the back of the net yet, uh, which I think destroyed some like season opening record for him uh goals in season opening games anyways i i don't remember what the record is mm. it's crazy to see a world where Ovi has 0.6 expected goals through four games but i have no doubt he'll turn around he'll probably end up with 40 something this year some ridiculous bunch of power play goals for <laughs> uh but yeah this team can't score right now and i don't know if they're snake bitten or what's going on and then when it You look at team defense, it hasn't been much better. They're 3.75 goals against average. is 25th in the league as well. And it's not like they haven't been unlucky. They have 0.54 goals against above expected. So they're getting scored on as much as they should expect. Um, And goaltending is probably the the number one cause of that at the moment. It's been a real sore spot for them. Uh, Kemper is an 887 save percentage. And Lindgren, who just went down with an injury, is an 886. I said this team would struggle in the preseason rankings, and so far they've proven me right. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Um, Like I mentioned earlier, they are playing the Maple Leafs right now as we speak. They started at 6 o'clock, which was a bit of an odd start time. Through the first period, they had 16 shots on goal to Toronto's 5, and they're down one nothing. So that just goes to show that, you know, the goaltending hasn't been great. But I think it also shows that maybe some of their lackluster offensive production might start sort of coming back to what we expected to happen at the start of the year. They're not going to be as dynamic as they used to be offensively, but they're not going to be in the absolute basement either because they still have some weapons and guys are going to figure it out. Like you said, with Ovi, like you'll still probably finish with, you know, like 30 to, to 40 goals, I think would be reasonable. And then you know, this season and next, and then maybe a bit of the one after that, we might see him break Gretzky's goal record. So, yeah. Um, and, and by the way, number eight was another number. I just I thought of that too. I was like, <laughs> how did we not take eight? <laughs> it was it was up there for me. Eight and 87 were on the board for me for our yeah. draft of uh, of best jersey numbers for forwards. But yeah, I mean, it's been it's been a bit of a tough start for them. I don't know if they're going to be in a, in a playoff spot this year. I think they have some moving pieces and some holes in their lineup that they need to figure out. Um, they need to get a guy like Tom Wilson going. They need to get Ovi going, obviously. His first time, was it ever in the NHL going two straight games without a shot on goal? I believe that happened this year, and I think it was his first time ever. You can correct me if, if I'm wrong, if that stat isn't entirely true, but I think it was. I saw that on Instagram. So, yeah, things haven't been going well. I'll tell you what. Talking about fantasy, you know, their power play has been abysmal. And John Carlson owners, that's what you get John Carlson for, even though he's still, you know, he has three points or whatever you said he has. So, you know, he's doing something compared to some of the other players on the team. But I'll tell you right now, Rasmus Sandin owners are punching the air right now because last season when he came over to Washington, he was expected to be this this new power play quarterback, this guy who's going to play 25 minutes a night and and get 40 points from the back end or something. Well, he has not been as advertised, even though he's playing a ton of minutes, he hasn't been able to produce offensively at five on five or on the power play as expected. So that's been a bit of a tough start. 
Uh, I had well. him and Trevor Van Riemsdyk queued at one point and passed on both of them, and mm -hmm. uh, that's worked out so far because neither of them has got a point. Yeah, so it's tough. I mean, yeah, it's a scary start. I don't know if they'll figure it out, but I think they're certainly better than these first few games indicate anyway, so I guess we'll see.